Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create the interface pieces that go between the timepiece and the wristband of a watch. This is the second part of the how to make a watch tutorial series. In the first part we created the main timepiece here. Now we're going to make the uh, pieces that interface with the wristband, then the wristband in the next tutorial, and after that we'll add some details. So let's jump right into this. Okay, so for this, I'm going to go back to the front view. And just to get started to make this really simple, I'm actually just going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to move this circle up and over. Kind of drag it over like this, scale it down just a tad bit. I move it like that. Now I'm going to essentially just extrude this circle out. So with, with it selected, I'm going to tap extrude over in the side menu. I'm going to turn off the wireframe functionality, but I am going to turn on the two-way functionality. And this will create a two-way extrusion. I'm just going to extrude it out like that. And then when I'm done, just tap done. And now I have the piece that is extruded. Now I have a couple different options. I could just select each of the ends and create a surface, but that doesn't really look all that fancy. Um, it kind of looks simple and, and not, so, not so nice. So I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna turn the duplicate function on with the little yellow circle, tap duplicate. I'm just gonna duplicate this in like that. create a surface between those two. And then from here, I'm going to use extrude functionality again, turn off the two way. And I'm just going to kind of extrude in a little bit like that. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of pull it in just a little bit. And I'm going to shrink, make sure duplicate is off. I'm going to shrink this internal ring a little bit more. And once I am done with that, tap done, I'll create a surface there. And now we have something that's much more interesting. What's cool here is that we can put like an accent color on any of these surfaces and we can really have some fun with the design. I'm using this extruded shape because it's kind of a simple way to make this interface. There are a couple other ways that you can do it. I can show you that in another video. But for now, I just wanted to show you how you could use an extruded shape to kind of give an interesting design to the watch. All right, now that we've done this on this side, we're gonna to need to move it over here. The easiest way to do that, honestly, is just to select the pieces that don't exist over there. So I'm gonna select this surface, this ring, this surface, this ring, and this surface. And then I'm just going to mirror them. Come up to here, tap mirror, and I believe this is over the x-axis, if I'm not mistaken. And look at that. We have those parts mirrored. Now, when I'm done with that, now that that is complete, I can come up to the top view, select that whole piece there, make sure that that's all that you have selected. I used the lasso tool to do that, so I came down, tapped the lasso tool, dragged the selection across like that. And then we can mirror this over, in this case, we're gonna mirror this over the Z axis. And now we have the two elements that hold the watch on to the wristband. So just like that, using the extrude functionality, some scaling and some duplicated circles, we came up with this kind of interesting shape and we now have the interface part to the watch. All right, stay tuned for the next tutorial. We are going to show you how to do the wristband in that one. If you have any feedback or questions or comments for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channel. Hope this tutorial was helpful and can't wait to see what kind of watches you make. Take care, guys.